We are standing at an historic crossroads when it comes to energy. The world has acknowledged the climate change challenge and governments have set targets for reducing emissions. But a successful transition will require massive growth in renewables and we're going to need it fast. The pandemic led to an overall decrease in energy consumption. But wind and solar were notable exceptions with record growth of 18 and 22 percent respectively. Governments are setting targets for renewables and for offshore wind. The EU by 2030 want to have 60 gigawatts of capacity installed, the UK 40 gigawatts and the US 30 gigawatts. Technology development and cost reductions are making renewables the cheapest and the fastest growing source of power. At the same time, we are noting fierce competition and increased pressure on profitability. That's why predictability of policies and regulations, as well as access to acreage for large scale projects are more important than ever. On um, the Global Wind Day, 15th of June, Equinor announced its new strategy. The key word, acceleration pushing our ambition forward by five years. We are now well on the way of becoming a global offshore wind major. By 2030, we aim to have 12 to 16 gigawatts of net capacity installed, two thirds of that in offshore wind. In 2030, around 50% of our gross investments will be allocated to renewables and low carbon initiatives like carbon capture and storage and hydrogen. We are but one actor in the energy transition, but together we can make a real impact and drive real change. So wind, am I in? Oh yes, I am in.